I'm going to talk a little bit about interfacing Zoya with a Chase Bliss audio pedal via CV. Um, so the first thing to do, forgive this nest of wires, my, my signal path is that my audio is going into the Zoya, then out of the Zoya into the Condor, and the Condor is going into my uh, interface, and you're going to hear sound from my monitors. Um, the the first thing you need is the right connection. So if you see here, I've got a TRS cable on this side, which I'm going to plug into the C port on Zoya. And that's being split into two TS uh, cables. And I want the tip. So Zoya transmits CV on the ring uh, and the Chase Bliss receives it on the tip, so that I'm I'm uh, having to, to split the signal and send uh, the appropriate uh, side to the Chase Bliss audio. So once that happens, when you plug anything into a, a CBA pedal, it automatically recognizes that it, it's going to be uh, doing expression rather than ramping parameters. Um, and so then it becomes a matter of where the dip switches are, are set up. On this patch on the, the Condor, I have everything uh, pretty much centered, except for the volume, which I've turned up to, to make it louder for demonstration purposes. And I have the the low pass filter uh, resonance set to its highest position. I'm going to just deal with the low pass filter um, because it has the most marked responses, uh, but you can modulate all sorts of things in, in a CBA pedal, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, at that point, it becomes a matter of how the dip switches are set, either on the back panel if you're in live mode or, or how they're set when you save a preset. So I have the low pass filter turned on. And then these become the ways in which uh, the CBA pedal determines what happens when it receives CV. So really quickly, uh, the sweep determines whether the reference point is the top or bottom of the dial, uh, the highest or lowest point on the dial. Uh, and the, the rise and fall have to do with the polarity of the expression or CV that, that it receives at that point. Um, so really quickly, I've got an envelope follower uh, going into a slew limiter just to give it a little bit more character, um, a little bit more of a classic envelope filter sound uh, that, that I'm going into my C port module. And when you place the C port module, you just want it zero to one. Uh, CBA pedals won't register negative values. So, the way I have it set up now is that it's uh, sweeping from the, the bottom and rising uh, toward my knob position. So the filter should open as I play. If I reverse this, what's going to happen is that the the uh, CV will sweep from the knob position toward the bottom and the filter will close as I play. If I change the sweep, when it's set to top and, and fall, what's going to happen is it's going to fall from fully open, from the, the, the uh, highest knob position toward where I've set the knob on the front panel. So that's not very pronounced. You might be able to hear it get uh, a little bit darker as the song, as the note rings out. Um, that's partly because of the range that's set. Sweeping from a fully open filter to a halfway closed filter is not a, a super uh, pronounced sound. 
but it becomes a little bit more pronounced if I sweep, uh, if I change this to rise. And what's happening now is that it's rising from the, the front panel's knob position toward the top. So it should open more uh, as the, the note rings out rather than, than close more and it should become brighter. And you can hear the resonance sort of rise. So that's just to, to show some of the, the um, classic combinations. What I'm going to do is turn this down to about uh, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, the, the low pass filter, and keep everything else the same. Um, so the envelope filter should be opening from a pretty closed position toward a pretty open position. <laughs> And you can use other modulation sources as well. So this is a sine wave. Um, a sine wave will sweep through this, this whole range that's set uh, by the, the dip switches because um, it doesn't depend on dynamics or anything like that. It, it's going to go from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 to 0 to 1. And so this will set the entire range. If you wanted to attenuate that, um, you could you could adjust the the connection strength to the C port. Gonna turn down the gain a little bit because the resonance is causing my speaker to protest. Okay, so sine wave, we can also uh, attach, uh, I have a four step sequencer here, so it's going to sound like, you know, different steps going back and forth. But the interesting thing about Zoya, obviously, is that we can combine all of these. So what I'm going to do now is set up the uh, uh, sequencer to control the depth of a sine wave whose speed is being modulated by the envelope follower, which is a pretty cool sound. So we connect the output of our slew limiter to the input of the LFO to adjust the rate as we play. I already set up a multiplier uh, to control our depth and the output of the sequencer is going into one side of that. The other side will be our LFO. So our LFO's depth will be changed in accordance with the sequencer and its rate will be changed in accordance with uh, our envelope follower, which leads to some pretty cool modulation. And the harder we play, the faster the LFO goes. Meanwhile, the, the, the sequencer is just changing the depth at a constant rate. Uh, you could connect the envelope follower to both of those. It'll get interesting. Um, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Uh, obviously, there's, there's a lot you can do with CV modules in Zoya. Um, there are, you know, you can control more than one parameter with CV at once. Um, so CV and, and, and Chase Bliss pedals, uh, are a, a match made in heaven, um, that give you a, a lot of different things you can do with a pedal that you, you already have in your arsenal, uh, to open it up with Zoya.
So I hope this helps for people who have questions about this. Uh, feel free to ask any other questions that I haven't answered. Um, if you forget which order the dip switches go in, I do too. Mostly my rule of thumb there is flick them around until it sounds right. Uh, but yeah, that, that's Zoya plus Chase Bliss. Best friends. <laughs>